Buying a Mercedes-Benz S-Class having a six-cylinder engine is much like buying the smallest yacht that may still cross the Atlantic Ocean. No matter what's underneath the hood, the largest and baddest Benz sedan can be a highly indulgent purchase, so why would anyone skimp about the engine just to save a couple of bucks? High is sublime ride quality, strong fuel economy, as sumptuous as other S-Classes. Low is not as quick because the V8 largely insignificant financial savings. Indeed, six-cylinder classes within the United States haven't enjoyed nearly as consistent of an history because their V8 and V12 counterparts. Excluding hybrid and diesel options, few American classes in recent memory have offered six-cylinder variants. The current W222 generation car's predecessor, the W221, did that don't have them as well as the W220 class before they'd offered a V6 S350 model in America only for a single model year 2006. New V6, not like the old V6 Mercedes-Benz's V6 engines attended a long way subsequently, however, compared while using 2006 S350's mid-length 3.7-litre bent 6 which has a then impressive 241 horsepower and 258 lbft of torque, the three-pointed star's latest and greatest V6 is often a highly sophisticated, potent piece. Maybe that's why the badge now reads S450 in spite of the engine's sub-4.5-litre displacement. The twin-turbocharged 3.0-litre unit inside new for 2018 S450 model pumps out 362 horsepower and 369 lbft of torque, and yes it mates that has a standard 9-speed automatic transmission and either rear or wheel drive. We tested the rear drive and 4-matic versions due to this review. The driver train propels the S450 to 60 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds at 0.1 second with the 147 pound EV rail wheel drive formatic model, which can be pictured here. While that might sound swift enough for just a land yacht, it trails BMW's six cylinder 7 series, the 740i, by half a second, as well as the latest V8 powered S-Class the S560, by more than a second. A sub-14 second quarter mile time can hardly be looked at slow, even so the S450 lacks the entirely effortless surge of power we expect within an S-Class. Mercedes does work of isolating the V6 on the S450's cabin, it's sublimely quiet at speed, emitting just 65 decibels for a 70 miles per hour cruise exactly as quiet since its Porsche Maybach S560 sibling. The key hints that you simply woulda, coulda, shoulda splurged with the V8 will be the slightly raspy mechanical tone that this V6 emits on startup and also a higher pitched engine remember that reveals itself only higher within the rev range, that you simply won't visit regularly if you serve this class's need to motor sedately. Less tire is more the two fewer cylinders in the S450's hood lead to some weight savings in comparison with the S560. Comparing formatic models, the V6 car weighed in at 170 pounds a lot less than the V8 version. This makes for the somewhat more agile feel, along with the big sedan is remarkably light on its feet and changes direction ably. Our test S450 S rode on fairly pedestrian Michelin Primer CMX M4 ZP run flat rubber, however, that would not grip as well because the more aggressive Goodyear Eagle F1 asymmetric two run flat tires installed about the S560 formatic, which pulled 0.90 grams for the S450 formatic's 0.87 grams. The upside with the 19-inch all-season Michelin rubber is likely to be the cushiest, plushiest tried on any class. both S560 S retested were riding on 20s. Fuel economy is yet another advantage for that V6 class. the EPA estimates its mileage to become only a tick above the V8 S560, but both our V6 test cars overachieved in your 75 mph L World Highway test. The rear drive S450 hit 31 miles per gallon, 3 miles per gallon over its rating, 
As you move the all-wheel drive S450 still managed 29 miles per gallon. 3 over the all-wheel drive S560 we also tested around the same loop. Combine this remarkable efficiency with all this class's huge, 24.6 gallon fuel tank so you get a bladder busting road trip selection of up to 760 miles. Still a splurge Mercedes doesn't skimp around the options set to the S450, offering virtually all the same creature comforts so does the S560 for a cost, naturally. Our test cars were prime examples. Despite both carrying a base price of a lot less than six figures for Matic adds $3,000, generous an awful lot of extras took these S450 S comfortably beyond the $100,000 barrier, with all the rear drive car to arrive at $106,245, as well as the formatic car ringing up at $115,645. Key choices on both S450 S included a $5,000 premium one package surround view camera, ventilated front seats, park assist, massaging front seats, and a number of other things, a $2,600 warmth and comfort package heated everything, including armrests, along with a $2,250 driver assistance package adaptive cruise control, land keeping assist as well as some other active safety features. Let's just point out that a fully optioned S450 approaches the pricing realm where AMGs and Maybachs reside. Now that we've carefully considered all from the rational arguments in favor in the V6 class, we'll go on and throw everything out the window in proclaiming that, in the option, we'd be challenged not to receive the V8. Unless you're building a livery company, the raised performance and even more special character from the S560 appears to us for being worth stretching another $10,000 or possibly even longer. It's in class, after all, why be satisfied with less when it's possible to have more?